Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So at the end of last month, I let you know that Microsoft was appearing to be getting ready to launch GPT-5 and was reportedly testing a new smart mode in Copilot. Now I'll leave the video linked because it does contain some information if you'd like to get more info. But just to let you know that as of yesterday, the 7th of August, late yesterday in my region, the new smart mode has now started rolling out to Copilot across the board. And it says uses GPT-5 to think quickly or deeply and you'll have the option to enable that if you so wish. Now Microsoft has this officially to say. It says as of yesterday, the 7th, it's incorporating GPT-5, which it says is OpenAI's best AI system to date into a wide variety of products. So it's not just Copilot, it's other Microsoft products and services as well. And it's doing this to bring new reasoning capabilities and improvements to coding and chat across its platforms. Microsoft says GPT-5, which was trained on Azure, includes OpenAI's latest reasoning models, along with a smart, efficient model to provide users with the right tool for the task at hand, whether in a consumer, enterprise or developer context. And Microsoft says that both 365 Copilot business and Copilot consumer customers can access GPT-5 immediately through the associated apps. And apparently GPT-5 is more context aware than previous models and has a deeper understanding of technical knowledge, human language cues like sarcasm, and is more efficient as well, according to Microsoft. So getting back to the new smart mode, Previously, we only had quick response, think deeper, and deep research, and now we got the fourth option, as I mentioned in the previous video, which can now apparently think quickly or deeply. Now, this is using GPT-5, and I'm actually just going to ask Smart Mode about GPT-5. There we go. So it says GPT has just dropped and then the AI chatbot tells us more about the new mode that is rolling out using GPT-5. And something else this new smart mode can do, which I mentioned previously, is if you toggle smart mode on, it can also automatically apparently detect the different mode for the task that's at hand. And talking of choice there is no option to turn off smart mode nothing in the settings i've had a quick look around so it's there now by default and unfortunately no way to turn any of those modes off and over and above rolling out to copilot on windows gpt5 is also rolling out to mac android ios and the web on copilot.microsoft.com so this is across the board this new smart mode. I have had a quick look around and I've seen it in Microsoft Edge in the different forms of Copilot we get in the browser, online and so on. And the new model is available for free on computers, mobile devices and on the web. So there's no subscription needed for smart mode. And GPT-5. And just on a personal note, I personally don't think I would use smart mode or any of the other modes in Copilot. On the few occasions I do use Copilot, I think I will just default to the default option, which is quick response, the best for everyday conversation. That's just my personal take on it. But nonetheless, if this is something you are using on a regular basis, maybe a nice move in the right direction. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.